Hey guys, Co here with another tips video. This one is on the building integrity system in Valheim and how to properly use it to make large buildings. So the building integrity system of Valheim is pretty great. It's simplistic and it's not an actual integrity system that you would think. So if you're a building engineer or something, keep in mind all of your information and everything you know is meaningless, unfortunately. But it's a cool system once you understand it. And once you get it down uh, through this video, it'll save you a lot of time in, in your own build. So let's get to it. So first of all, the building integrity system is viewed by taking out your hammer and mousing over pieces of building equipment. You'll see a variety of colors come up. These, these colors represent exactly how much integrity that particular thing has. So in this case, we can see uh, they go from blue to red to eventually blood red. And whenever you see that, that's when you know you've basically reached the end of your building potential. So you can see up here right now, if I were to try to add more buildings to these, if I were to try to extend this roof out, they would just fall off because the integrity here is blood red. So let's talk about what this means. The integrity system in this game is based on the number of connections to a grounded item. A grounded item is a blue item. This is an item that is touching the ground, or in the case of the game, registered as an item that is directly touching the ground. Whenever you mouse over an item on the bottom of your house, you want to make sure it is blue because that, that designates it as a foundational item. Sometimes you will place pillars on pieces of flooring like this and they will be green. If that's the case, that means you need to pop up the bit of wood that's around it, make sure the ground is raised so it touches the bottom, and then you can just go ahead and build it right back. If you have a green item on the base of your house, that means you will be able to build up less because you're already wasting a connection with the bottom item. So what does this mean to you? This basically means that when you're building your structures, you wanna make sure that the highest point can get to the, the foundation of your house with the fewest amount of connections. Now, if you notice in here, one of the reasons I use this is because this beam counts as one item, but it's actually two sizes high than a normal beam. So that means that I can literally build twice as high using these beams because these connections are what designates a reduction in an integrity value. So you can see as we go up here, it goes from blue to green to a little bit more yellow, and then it turns yellower, and then it turns to red, and then eventually we can't build up there. So as you build your structures, keep in mind, A, everything on the bottom needs to be grounded, and then B, as you build up, you need to make sure that those pieces um, are taking the shortest path possible to the ground. Now, it's also important to mention that there is no type of realistic integrity system. So if you build like a, a triangle roof and then think, okay, I'll put a flat bar and then use joists to hold that up. Nothing like that in this game works. That's only for design and for things that, that you want it to look good. Uh, like all this stuff in the middle of this does zero for the integrity. It's just, it's just for looks. So keep in mind, the only thing that is important is that the integrity goes to the ground. Now, two quick notes for this, especially for more advanced builders or for people later in the game. Stone acts as a pass-through. Stone is a grounded item. So as long as you build stone on stone, it will maintain that grounded as you go up. So you can build larger towers if you're putting stone on stone on stone, as long as it all touches the ground. Also, this is a trick we found out last night that is awesome. If you look at this tower I built, this tower looks like it shouldn't exist. Because if I were to pile up normal beams, um, there's no way it would make it to the top. These right here are reinforced iron beams. These here act as foundation pass-throughs. So even though these are green, if I were to walk up to here and bust down these two things right here and then put one of these beams, that beam would be blue. This would be a blue grounded beam this high up. It is a very cool thing. It has something to do with the fact that these are high resource beams and they take iron to build. So this, these here are the, are holding up the entire tower essentially, which goes all the way up. And then you can see actually is ringed with stonework uh, for the hearts. So it's very, very cool stuff. Um, outside of that, the entire house premise again, is just like, you can see these beams here. 
Uh, they're all connecting. They're getting less and less in color as they go up. Once all of this stuff touches here, the integrity is revitalized. Um, so funny enough, like the integrity here is significantly less than up here because as soon as these touch these beams, then they all of a sudden get a huge boost in integrity value. So yeah, that's how the system works in the game. Using everything I just said, you should be able to build your own rather large monolithic structures. Uh, theoretically, using these here, you could build huge internal structures um, using these as, as ways to raise up your integrity. I mean, you could literally build a, a building that is the size of my entire camp uh, on the inside using these beams. Now, granted, keep in mind, they're a little bit expensive. They do take iron, so you're going to be doing a lot of farming in swamps. But yeah, very cool, and I hope this helps. So anyway, another tips video. Hope that helps you in your own adventures. And as always, thanks for watching, and make sure to come by to twitch.tv uh, twitch slash and say hi. Bye-bye.